Hi, I'm David Grew, and I'm the 2022 Connecticut Science Center STEM Achievement Award winner. I knew I wanted to become an oncologist when I was a med student. I was part of a team that was admitting a patient to the hospital who had a new medical problem that turned out to be cancer. And we did a bunch of tests and worked up everything and we made the diagnosis, but then we discharged her. I wasn't quite satisfied with that. I followed her after she was discharged to the oncology clinic. So I got to get a sense of, you know, the other doctors on the team, the oncologists, the radiologists, the radiation oncologists and the surgeons, and how they all worked together as part of a unified team to get her the best possible care. I came up with the idea for Primer early in the pandemic when we had visitor restrictions. So patients with a new diagnosis of cancer were having to come into the oncology clinic alone. So they're oftentimes, you know, understandably overwhelmed. They, this is a new diagnosis. They're face to face with their mortality for the first time. And it was difficult for them to retain all this information that was coming at them. So I started just sketching out the treatment plan on pen and paper. Um, and patients were telling me that they would take that home and then show it to their family. So I had this idea to convert these pen and paper drawings into just digital illustrations that I narrated so that they could share it electronically with their family who lived maybe far away. The doctors who run clinical trials are starting to use primer content to explain these complex trials to patients. It's making it easier for patients to understand complex trials so that they're more willing to participate. We need clinical trials to test the safety and also to prove the effectiveness of new cancer treatments. An experience at a science center for a kid can be that little spark that sends them down a path that ultimately leads them to being a physicist or an oncologist or an engineer. Um, and we need people to do those things. That's how we solve problems for society. For a young learner, my advice would be don't be afraid to fail. If you never fail, then you've never tried. When scientists test things and they fail, what their privilege is now is that they learned from that failure. If no one else tried that, then they never have that kind of privilege learning. 